I had seen these memes and pictures like everywhere. I had no idea where it came from. So I searched it up and apparently it's the Wojak meme coming from, I guess, 2009 from people out of isolation. And people were using these memes to just pretty much get a vibe check, you know, check in with people, show where they were mentally, you know, that type of thing. It's hilarious because they had, you know, the original Wojak person and then there's like all kinds of Wojaks. They have Wojaks on personality types. They have Wojaks on musical taste. They have Wojaks on different looks of people. Of course, they have like the Chad, but also there were some black artists that made the black Wojaks. And what's hilarious is that there are black people that resemble many of these Wojaks. It's almost Whoa, Jack, that's scary how uncannily close some of these Wojak meme characters come to their real life counterparts. And it could be that some of these artists base these Wojak characters on certain people. I one time saw a guy that looked like the black Wojak character with like the nice fade and the beard. I've seen homies out in public looking like that, and that cracked me up. And also the black female Wojak character with the nice hair and the good skin. That lady that did the live presentation with KS, Kevin Samuel, I'm pretty sure that one was either based on her or she based her life off of that Wojak character. And I looked at the personality type Wojak character and none of them really looked like me, but the energy was definitely there. I could see myself in one of the characters. I was like, oh, oh my. Oh my, I know I'm channeling a little bit of the, the two-pack at age 17, you know, he's, he's doing this. Maybe this will be a thumbnail right here. Anyways, yeah, so, and someone should have given KS his flowers while he was still awake and living. R.I.P. to the homie right there. But yeah, the lady he was talking to, I need to find this young lady's name. I need to find her name. Because she's hilarious. She's, I wouldn't say, a, a pick-me girl by any means. It's not like she's playing rough with these people that she interviews. But the way she talks to some of the ladies seems like she is down to earth. Has her head on straight. Knows perhaps what men want. Knows perhaps what women need to get there as well. But when she had the conversation with Kevin Samuels... That stuff was hilarious. Because I asked you the question. Okay, I'm sorry. One of the two things wrong in our community is one, so many of our women come into, into, into interaction with black men in bad faith. Yep. You assume the worst, the negative. Oh. Ma'am, go rewind this part. You gave me an example. Do you think a woman should settle for a man that's cheating on her, abusing her, something and so forth, in order to just have a man? That is a disingenuous French toast. Yep. He was trying to allow her, you know, make a situation where she could take accountability for how she was coming into the conversation. And he was asking her, you know, a simple question like yes or no. And she did not want to go down that route. And she like would not answer. And of course, in classic KS, you know, type, he was like, see? See? And this is why it's like this. Because y'all don't want, you know? Yeah, just, just say sorry. Just take accountability for it, but it is what it is. So yeah, that is a Wojak character. And if I can find this young lady's name, she still seems to be amongst the land of the living. So that's that's good and fun stuff. I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed a couple of her things because she'll just get right out there and interview people. You know, she's like, all right. What's your name? What's your age? Where do you live? What do you do? How many kids do you have? What are you looking for in a partner? And when's the last time you... When you could have easily come in and escape yep. with the positive, good faith, do you think it would be better for a woman to be with a man who she can actually...